Today we've got a very special vegan chef with us to cook here at the Pickup Limes headquarters. Hello, I'm Gaz Oakley from Avant Gar Vegan. It's amazing to be here. If for whatever reason you don't already know about Gaz's channel called Avangar Vegan, you're seriously missing out. So check out the links in the description box below. Uh, we actually just did a collaboration video together as well that you can find on his channel. So if you're hungry for more, stick around. I'll leave the link for you at the end of today's video. But for now, we're going to create two different one pot recipes. The first one is a specialty of Gaz's. Yes. A, what are we making? A beautiful aromatic Jamaican curry full of amazing spices and made in just 15 minutes. Beautiful. And then we're also going to be making a new pickup limes recipe, my personal favorite pad thai. Let's get started. We're starting with the first recipe. This one's your specialty, so you're going to take the floor here. What are we starting with? Okay, so we need to make our base ingredients. We just need to prepare some Scotch bonnet chili extra important for this recipe. It's very spicy, but it adds that authentic Jamaican Caribbean flavor. So first we're going to finely mince three cloves of garlic. We're gonna slice the white parts off of four scallions. Keep the green parts for later for garnish. So, Scotch bonnet, this is so, so spicy. And I'm gonna remove the seeds. This is a large one and I'm gonna add half, which is gonna add some nice heat to this dish. Just wash your hands thoroughly after chopping it, but ideally you'd wear gloves. So one of the things I love about this recipe is just how many different kinds of greens there are and lots of different veggies that we're gonna be using. Yeah, and uh, simple as this, grab a handful of each of them, chop them up. And if you have anything left over in your fridge, add that to the curry as well. It's all about less waste and getting as many different flavors as you can into the curry. So all you need to do is Cut some asparagus into three. Make sure you get rid of the woody end part first. So if you don't know where the woody part starts and finish on asparagus, literally all you need to do is go like that and it will naturally break. That is so cool. So literally I can bend it and wherever it snaps. So I don't want to use this and I'm going to use this. I thought everyone knew that. There you go. <laughs> Mind blown. Then we're going to trim some broccolini and just cut them in half and also just chop up some fine beans. I'm also going to cube a red pepper and cube up half a courgette. So now we've chopped all of the veggies. I think it's on to cooking. Yes, so we need to get the pan nice and hot and we need to cook those base ingredients with some spices and tomato puree. So to a large pot on high heat, we're going to add about three tablespoons of oil and we're going to add the garlic, the chili and onions. And we're going to saute it for a couple of minutes before we add the dried herbs and spices. For the spices, we're adding two teaspoons of salt, a teaspoon of black pepper, five teaspoons of Jamaican curry powder. If you can't find Jamaican curry powder, just use any curry powder here. A teaspoon of ground ginger, a tablespoon of dried thyme, and one bay leaf. So it's really important to cook those base ingredients with the herbs and spices for at least two to three minutes so that they release all their amazing aromatic flavor. Then we're gonna add three tablespoons of tomato puree and cook it for a further one minute. So now that the base is cooked, I'm gonna add these vegetables and these cook in various different times. So I'm gonna add the asparagus last. But because this is a quick curry, we can add more or less and all at the same time. So we're gonna cook the veggies for about three to four minutes. Yeah. And then once we've added the asparagus, we're gonna cook it for about one minute longer before we add the chickpeas. Guys, this is looking really, really good. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I think a good tip is um, not to add the liquids too soon. Right. Um, we want to let those spices and the veg cook because we want all those flavors to work their magic before adding the liquids. So now we're going to add a full can of coconut milk and we're going to be adding a cup of water here as well. And one thing I would say now, I would turn up the heat so we get that sauce thickening up. So that's pretty much it, but I think there's a special ingredient you like to add if people can access it, right? It's called samphire. That's just going to add a nice crunch and almost like a taste of the sea saltiness, which is perfect just to finish off this beautiful curry. So this is a one pot recipe in that it's the curry in the bowl. And to keep it one pot, we're going to just be serving it with some bread. But if you'd like, you can serve it with rice. What else? Yeah, some quinoa steamed, some wild rice. It'll soak up that amazing sauce. We're just going to serve it with some um, toasted coconut flakes, some spring onions, and also some plantain and some bread, just because we have it lying around, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we had some plantains for breakfast this yes, morning, and it nice. adds to the kind of Caribbean flavors of this dish. That's my type of meal there. Oh, gosh. Guys, that looks so good. Can I dig in? Yes, I can't wait to taste it. I want to see what you think of it, obviously, as well. 
But you gotta do it with me. All right. I don't like eating on camera alone by myself. Oh, that's really good. Spicy. Yeah, that Scotch bonnet has got some heat, but that is the perfect heat for me. And those flavors are so intense, even though it's so fast to make. So it's a really balanced meal. We've got plant-based proteins in there. We've got veggies. We're serving it with some bread, but again, you can serve it with some other kind of grains. So in your video, we talk about the importance of the plate method and you've covered it here with your dish. But let's get on to making the next recipe. Oh, wait, this is gonna be a lot of food for us, but it's gonna be amazing. Jamaican curry, then pad thai. What a day. Okay, after that curry, it's gonna be pretty hard to top, but we're gonna make a new pickup lines recipe. It's a pad thai. Have you been to, you've been to Thailand before? I haven't, oh, well, for five hours I have. Yeah, and pad thai though, do you like it? I do, yeah, it's one of my favorites, so I'm intrigued to taste your recipe. We're gonna make a vegan pad thai, and it's really straightforward. I think it takes about 15 minutes. Chopping is the only thing that's gonna take a little bit of time, so let's begin. I'm going to give you a block of tofu. So first we're gonna cut the tofu into one centimeter chunks. I'm going to give you six cloves of garlic to finely mince and I'm going to dice two shallots. This is the benefit of having a vegan chef. He's gonna teach me how to do this properly. So you wanna leave the root on and that will hold everything together. Right, okay. Peel back the skin, okay. trim that off and then cut in. Right. Two, wow. Three! Oh my goodness. You do this so gracefully. Those are perfect little <laughs> tiny squares. This is great. Now I'm gonna get you to slice this up for me into one centimeter thick chunks. I'm also gonna get you to mince one red chili pepper. This is optional if you don't like things spicy. And have you tried pickled radish before? Yes, my favorite. And this is also gonna just help add that powerful flavor that fish sauce adds to traditional pad thai. So that's gonna be amazing in the pad thai. So we're gonna mince up about two tablespoons worth of that as well. So I think that if people aren't that confident at chopping, they can just throw everything into a blend and just blitz this up. That's the beauty of this recipe. As long as you've got those flavors, it's gonna be so tasty. It doesn't really matter how they're chopped, but ideally you wanna get skilled in the kitchen. Efficiency with a knife helps you make amazing recipes. So a lot of traditional pad thais don't call for a lot of veggies, but I'm going to add a whole bunch in here because we always try to make it as wholesome as we can. So we're going to julienne one carrot and one bell pepper, and we're gonna shred about a cup's worth of green cabbage, but I want you to show me how to properly julienne, please. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna top and tail it. Top and tail it. What I tend to do is cut a strip off and then turn it like that so it doesn't roll around. Ah, oh, smart, yeah? And then cut it fine. Look how fine that is. But however you cut it is totally fine, yeah. so we don't all have your chef skills, but cool to see how it's done. And one thing that's important about cooking dishes like this is that the speed of cooking. So the reason why I've chopped this really fine is that we want it to cook fast in the pan. So with the bell pepper, I would just trim off the sides. Interesting. And we're not gonna waste any of it, don't worry. We can just do it now, so you just go like this. That's so cool, I've definitely never seen this. I've seen the carrot, I haven't seen this before. Good knife skills are all to do with the sharpness of your knife. I wouldn't be able to do this if the knife wasn't sharp. Again, he just looked at me while he was doing that. Try one on, try one on, try one. Perfect. Did that work? Well, the tip is to see if it's all broken. Oh no, oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> what you did, you just focus on being too fast. I did, I was trying to, I was trying to impress. So you want to rock into it. I've got a knife skills video on my YouTube channel. A little plug. Good plug, good plug. <laughs> and then I'm just going to cut about a cup's worth of green cabbage. Again, just adding some more veggies in this, totally optional. But it's an affordable little ingredient. Now we're gonna cook the tofu on a large wok or pan, whatever you've got on high heat, using about two tablespoons of oil, and you're gonna keep cooking it until it gets lightly golden, really nice and crispy. So a couple of tips to get your tofu as crisp as possible. Before you fry it, squeeze as much of the water out as you can using kitchen paper just on your board, and also to absorb some more of that liquid and help it crispen up, add a touch of sea salt, it's also gonna add a nice flavor as well. So now, We've got some rice noodles, but these ones are brown rice noodles, so making it a little bit more wholesome. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna add it to a shallow bowl, and this is just warm water, not boiling water. I'm gonna get you to pour that on top, and we're just gonna let it sit 
while our tofu is cooking. Just gonna set this aside for now. And what do you know about pad thai sauces in terms of the flavor profile? Yeah, so we need some soy, some lime, some tamarind, um, some sugar. I'm looking at them all there. So yeah, I exactly. Some lime, but... Um, but there's we, four flavor profiles you want for yeah, Thai dishes. Sweet, sweet sour, sour, salty. Good, one more. Sweet, sour, salty, and spicy, I guess. Good, perfect, perfect, perfect. So if I can show you this here, we've got four tablespoons of soy sauce. We've got two tablespoons of raw sugar. We've got three tablespoons of tamarind paste. And then we've got a tablespoon here of rice vinegar. You can use any vinegar you have. A tablespoon of sriracha hot sauce, which gives it a nice color, but also that spice that you talked about. And we're gonna squeeze in about half of a lime as well. And now I think we should go check on the tofu. Hear that crunch now. Nice, so when the tofu is crisp, then we're gonna set it to the side. And then back to the pot, you can add a little bit more oil if you'd like, but then this is the part where we're going to add the green onions, the shallots, garlic, the red pepper, and the pickled radish. And we're just gonna give it a stir, letting it cook again until it gets nice and lightly golden, about two to three minutes. We're then gonna add all the vegetables to the pan. We're gonna cook it for about five minutes until it's crunchy, but it's gonna be softened. Then we're gonna add the soy sauce. Here we're using sodium reduced soy sauce. We're gonna add the sugar, tamarind paste, the rice vinegar and the sriracha hot sauce and squeeze in half of a lime and we're going to stir it to combine. Let it cook for a couple minutes so that the sugar caramelizes. It's gonna give it a beautiful color and taste. All right, Gaz, touch those noodles. What do they feel like? Almost cooked. Yeah. yeah. But there's still, like, it's not fully cooked yet. Definitely, a little bite to it. Yeah, perfect. So this is how we want it. It's just been sitting in this warm water, so we're going to drain it, and then we're gonna add it to the pan with everything else. So we're gonna let the rice noodles cook just for another couple minutes, then we'll add the bean sprouts and the tofu, let it cook for like one or two minutes more, and then that's it. It's gonna be ready to plate up. So many nice flavors. The smells in here are absolutely incredible. You can smell the sweetness, you can smell yeah, the vinegariness, the spiciness, everything is amazing. Wow, here we go. Perfect, go ahead and plate it straight away actually. Oh, wow, all the pressure's on me. All right, some more bean sprouts. Do you wanna add a little lime wedge that I've got here? Roasted peanuts, right? Yep. It's gonna add a lovely crunch to it. Sadia, first up, thank you so much for having me on your channel. Yeah, of it's course. It was, I had so much fun cooking. Hey, we're not done yet. You have I to know. finish it. I'm, I'm just prolonging this even longer. <laughs> we really need to give this a try. So thank you again. Let's yeah, give it a taste. Of I hope you like it. The perfect balance there. The vegetables are so crunchy, which I really like. The noodles are the perfect texture, yeah. right? And that tofu is still a crunchy. It's nice and soft in this, the middle. It's actually really meaty. Gaz, thank you so much for coming in today. This is my first collaboration video. Hope you guys enjoyed it being with the incredible chef Gaz Oakley from Avagar Vegan. Again, if you haven't checked out his channel, be sure to do that. In fact, just after this video now, you're gonna see a pop-up for the collab video that we did together, making a delicious meal. You'll just have to wait and watch his video to see exactly what it was. Hope you enjoyed the recipes that we've shared with you today. Thanks a lot for watching. Pick up limes, do you know what we say? See you next Signing week. Signing off. Signing off. We'll see you in the next video. <laughs> I'm never using that. <laughs> Take four. Thai. Today we've got a very special vegan chef in the kitchen with us here at the Pickup Lens headquarters. You're supposed to walk into frame here, buddy. <laughs> Joining us here at the Pickup Lens headquarters today. <laughs> that was slow. <laughs> again. <laughs> again. <laughs> Gaz, thank you so much for coming. Can you do that one more time? Yeah. I swallowed just as you said, Gaz. Thanks to Gaz for coming in. Do that in. one more time? I was scratching my head because I was waiting for a three, two, one. <laughs>